There is no way that video can capture how beautiful this really is. Wait until you see how much you can explore in just four days at Yellowstone National Park. These 20 stops we're going to bring you in the order in which we did them, so they're not ranked in any way. Starting with Gardner, Montana and Roosevelt Arch at the north entrance, working our way south. And of course, Roosevelt Arch is just an iconic stop. Make sure you take a few moments and really explore this. And of course, make sure you do the drive through the arch. Next up was Mammoth Hot Springs. This is a very popular area and I would just tell you that because of the crowds we probably didn't spend as much time as maybe we would have liked so just be prepared for that. So if that doesn't bother you this is a wonderful area to take in a little more than we did but the general store there is quite big and it's very helpful if you need any of your supplies making your trip on down into the park further. As you leave Mammoth Hot Springs and you start heading south, you're gonna see plenty of pullovers and overlooks to stop at. Don't dismiss these. We found some wonderful views and some great exploring that we really enjoyed as a family. And then of course, this is where the wildlife really picks up. And we saw plenty of bison in the roadway, so do take your time. I mean, that's why you came to Yellowstone to check them out. So be patient if you get into one of these bison jams, but it's so awesome. And then we stayed at Canyon Village, specifically at Moran Lodge. It was one of the newer lodges there at Canyon Village. Highly recommend this place. It was so well positioned for everything we did in the park, including our next stop, which was one of my personal favorites, checking out Sunrise from Lookout Point at Yellowstone Falls. Next up was Artist Point, and of course, this is one of the most popular stops in all of Yellowstone National Park. The only tip I would give you is try to do it earlier in the day. If you can get there by 10 o'clock or so, you're just going to beat the crowds. They start really rolling in, and you'll have a little bit more of the overlook to yourself. After leaving Artist Point, we headed over to Uncle Tom's Point, and this is just a great viewing area to take in the Upper Falls. It's really beautiful, and you can see it so well from the overlook there, so you're definitely going to want to do that. And then we headed back over to Lookout Point because the sun had come up really nice, and it shined on the waterfall from that point, and there's a trail down to the bottom of the waterfall that you're definitely going to want to do. This was one of our favorite things that we did, and that's called the Red Rock Trail and you just get such a wonderful view to take in the falls from there. Look at this guys, we're getting our first glimpse from this vantage point. Our next stop was the brink of the Lower Falls, and this was a pleasant surprise on our trip. Don't miss this. Make sure this is on your list. We were just blown away. These were some of the very best views that we saw in all of Yellowstone National Park.
The next two stops you're going to make at the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone are going to be Grand View and Inspiration Point. And you'll definitely want to take these in and see the canyon from both directions. They are spectacular. If you're just passing through the Canyon Village area, there is also a wonderful visitor center there that you may want to take in. Well, our next stop was Hayden Valley. We actually hit Hayden Valley several different times just to have as many opportunities as we could to see wildlife there, and it does not disappoint. Everybody tells you to hit Hayden Valley either at sunrise or at dusk and it's absolutely something you should do as you're ending each day if you're able to and check out these bears that we got to take in just outside of Hayden Valley. We saw the most bison on our early morning drives through Hayden Valley. So if you can put Sunrise in Hayden Valley on your list, I would definitely recommend it. You could stand right there by your car and they would just walk peacefully by you. It was an amazing experience. As you head further south from Hayden Valley, there's two quick stops that you're gonna to wanna to take in. They don't take very much time, but they're definitely worth seeing. This would be Mud Volcano and Dragon's Mouth. Definitely worth the stop. You only need about 20 minutes or so to take them both in. Our next two stops were Barrel Spring and Gibbon Falls. And these would be two stops that are right off the main highway and parking lots that you can easily spot. And they don't take very long, but you're definitely gonna to wanna to take both of these in. Our next stop was the Overlook to see Grand Prismatic Spring. This is one of the top five things we did on the trip. All right, you start right here at the trailhead and you take it to the Overlook if you're just trying to see Grand Prismatic Spring. The beginning of this trail is also the same route you would take if you wanted to go over to Ferry Falls. You'll see a sign though that diverts you to the left to go on up to the Overlook to see Grand Prismatic Spring. Just be patient as you get to the Overlook. It can be very crowded there at Grand Prismatic Spring, 
but everybody is very good about letting each and every family take the moments and time that they need to take it all in. Next up is Yellowstone Lake, and this was one of our favorite stops on the trip that we didn't expect to be so fun. You need to definitely uh, take your time here and stop at some of the different areas where you can get out on the beach itself and uh, see the lake up close. And then of course, we had a great time going over to the Lake Hotel and seeing that. And uh, we even picked up some sandwiches there and then went over to the marina and rented one of the boats and had a picnic out on the lake itself. Uh, definitely a wonderful experience and you need to spend some time here at Yellowstone Lake and I only share that because with all the research we did I didn't see too many people even talk about Yellowstone Lake and it was just one of the most amazing stops we made on the whole trip. Next up was Crystal Falls. This is one of those stops that doesn't take very long, so you can fit this one in easily, but it's definitely worth checking out. It's only about a quarter of a mile trail from the parking lot. Our next stop was hiking all the way to the top of Avalanche Peak. And what we never expected was the beautiful drive getting to the trailhead and being able to take in these amazing bears. All right, here we go. Woo! Up the top of that mountain, Avalanche Peak. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. This hike at Avalanche Peak was one of the best we have ever done. We have a whole video on this hike itself. If you wanna see that, we will include a link to that video down in the description to see if you wanna put it on your list. If you're wondering if this trail is epic, that's the view to my left as I'm walking. Right, this is awesome. Matthew and I are going all the way to the point of Avalanche Peak right now. Easily the most amazing trail we have ever done. And this is proof that you don't have to get too close. I'm taking this right from my car. On our last trip through Hayden Valley, we were lucky enough to spot two different wolves. So pay attention because the second one was really hard to spot up near the tree line. Well, our next stop was Kepler Cascades. And this is an easy, short stop. Very beautiful though. The overlook there gives you a great vantage point. 
I would invite you to go down uh, to the left of that overlook though and you'll get uh, a couple spots where you can get up close I would say to the waterfall and really take it in. Of course, no stop at Yellowstone National Park is complete unless you see Old Faithful. If you have never taken this in for yourself, you're going to really enjoy this. Half of the fun is the crowd reaction. Our next stop was Biscuit Basin, which is not very far from Old Faithful, but you'll get to take in so many of these thermal features, and we just loved Sapphire Pool. It was just incredible. At the back of Biscuit Basin is where you pick up the trailhead to Mystic Falls, and this was one of our favorite waterfalls in all of Yellowstone. Okay, at the back of Biscuit Basin is the Mystic Falls Trail. This will be considered an easy trail to the waterfall, unless of course you want to be a little adventurous and try to climb all the way down towards the bottom of that waterfall, but it's absolutely something you should put on your list. We saw so many people that skipped this when they were right there at Biscuit Basin, so this was one of the highlights of our trip, we felt. Who is this? Wow. Next up is going to be Lewis Falls. This could be one of those shorter stops if you needed it to be. This is right off of the main highway and uh, it only takes about 20 minutes to take it all in. One of the more underrated stops that we made was Moose Falls. It was just a short drive from where we had just been at Lewis Falls. So look for this as you're heading south going into Grand Teton National Park. But this waterfall is absolutely worth stopping and taking in. There's a really cool walk path down to the bottom of this fall as well. This is an underrated waterfall for sure at Yellowstone. Oh wow, look at this. And then you gotta take this little rock climb all the way down to the bottom because the shots down here are epic.
If we can help you with any of your questions that you have planning your adventure there to Yellowstone National Park, please ask us those questions down in the comments. We would be glad to help you any way we can. Also, we did several videos while we were there. We will include the links to those videos down in the description and they might help you as well. And if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up down below. That would help us. And we would love it if you subscribe to the channel and came along with us on all of these adventures. And until next time, get out there and camp, travel, and explore.